In this video, we'll look at using non-Rainbird valves and recommended Rainbird valves with the ESP LXD controller. When using non-Rainbird valves with the ESP LXD, you may run into compatibility issues between the default solenoid voltage settings and the third-party valve's requirements. However, you can make an adjustment to compensate for this discrepancy. The setting is found under the Setup Wizard dial position. In this example, I have a master valve connected to a decoder, and I'm noticing that when the master valve starts to turn on, I can hear the solenoid trying to engage. However, the solenoid doesn't fully engage, so the master valve doesn't turn on. This may be happening because either the inrush current or the holding current is incorrect. We can adjust the inrush current and the holding current settings under valve types. There are five predefined valve types. V1 is for a single Rainbird commercial solenoid. Press the plus button to get valve type 2, which represents two Rainbird valves connected to a single 102 or 202 version of the decoder. Valve type 3 is a higher voltage solenoid we use on 3-inch valves and golf valve in-head rotors. Valve type 4 is two of those higher voltage solenoids connected to a single 102 or 202 decoder. And finally, valve type 5 is for a pump start relay. We recommend setting the master valve in this example to the V5 setting, which is the highest inrush and hold current, and testing whether that will work. Now that we've chosen V5, let's turn the dial to manual watering and start a station that's using the master valve to see whether it turns on by pressing run and observe whether the master valve comes on. If this is unsuccessful, check with the manufacturer of the valve to see if they have a lower wattage solenoid. Otherwise, you may need to replace the valve with a Rainbird PGA, PEB, EFB, CP, or BPE series valves. And please note that residential valves such as DV and JTV series are not compatible with ESP LXD decoders. Be sure to visit rainbird.com slash ESP LX series for product manuals and FAQs. You can also call us for free professional support for programming and troubleshooting.